Hello everybody, and welcome back to the slice of my life, and today it is April 1st, and that obviously means that you have to do a joke, sort of. I don't care, I had one planned, um, but I'm not going to do it now, because it's dumb, anyway. So, what's going to be happening this month? Well, basically everything that was going to happen in February. <laughs> Filming is going to happen, hopefully. The costume is going to get finished, hopefully. And I might set up that dating app, uh, dating profile thing. So basically, what the plan is, filming on the 12th uh, and the 20th for um, The Masked Hunter. Uh, so that kind of the opening scene now. So there will be a version of it without the costume and a version of it with the costume. Um, so that's gonna be fun. Gonna have to set up at like a campsite. I might do that like the day before and like sort out like the whole tent and all of that. So we actually have the campsite there so then they arrive and we just immediately go and film. That's probably what's gonna happen. And then on the 16th and 17th, Faye is gonna be back and she's going to finish the costume. I really hope. And we're gonna then also be uh, filming another episode of a creator, uh, not a creator, the creator's conflict. So that will also be cool. Um, <coughs> I'm also getting over COVID. That's fun. I had a cold as well, and I still have a bit of a sort like a cough and a cold. So I was just downing like uh, cold and flu medicine constantly. Safely, I was safely downing all of my medication. The only other thing I can really think of that's going to be probably a reoccurring thing is I might talk about Moon or something that will come up later is that I, I really like Moon Knight and Moon Knight uh, had its first episode happen uh, on Wednesday. So I've watched that. So far, so good. I mean, there's plenty of changes, mainly in the sense that uh, Jack Lockley hasn't been mentioned at all and also, Steve Grant isn't a museum uh, gift shop cashier. He's a Hollywood movie producer who sometimes works for Marvel Studios. And there's a very specific um, bit in one of the comics where he talks about how Marvel is ruining um, his Moon Knight uh, film. And they're making it more like this typical action movie and it's losing all of the nuance of the character and like the actual message he's trying to tell with mental illness. And like, if that happens in this show, that comic panel is going to be hilarious in hindsight. This is due in in four minutes, and it has taken about three to get this far into the download. I now have three minutes left. Why is it not moving? Oh, thank God. This is like the most tension-filled moment I have. I'm genuinely, like, worried. And it is late. Oh, all of my work for the last couple of things has been late. So this is really annoying. But I think they can see specifically when you sent it. So... <sighs> and the computer screen has turned off because nothing's happening. My screensaver is set to turn off I think after 15 minutes so that gives you an idea of how long I've been watching this. Oh thank god finally yes hand it in yes I don't care that it's late, it's like, fuck you, fuck you, Wi-Fi, fuck you. I, I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's talking about, I am the most level-headed, most, I'm so in control of Didn't my Didn't you just anger. try to like, slit his throat, like, five seconds ago? No, no, <laughs> that, was, that was me threatening Max, not Faye threatening Richard, there's a difference, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, and then uh, 
And then Faye had many issues uh, trying to fight people. Uh, mainly within not. the group. Listen, buddy, you need to you, listen. If you look, 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 oh, that yes. was a DM failure. You didn't was tell it? me. Everyone yes. seemed to agree with me that I was on the right. Well, there, all of you are wrong, and I am correct. Sure. Well, you heard it here first. Thank you, everyone, for showing up. Time to leave. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night. You heard it here first. If Woman listen, is right. Man is wrong. I, I know when I'm correct, and I'm. Correct, motherfucker. Uh, to excluding the lower half of your body, love, where you look more like a uh, depressed dock worker, well, rather applicable where we are, who wears cargo pants to any situation, I mean, dear. Secondly, on the top half, the shirt is boring, and I must say, the most attractive thing that you currently have is your firearm. Uh, that's only because someone more attractive than you had it. Right, I'm going to shoot him in the foot. All right. Are you just trying to depress it to death? What are you doing? No, you know what? I'm just going to fucking kneecap the guy. Can I kneecap? I am an Englishman made of nothing but vitriol and disdain. What do I have to roll to kneecap him? This is going to be great with you guys trying to go to a fight. Uh, that would just be a pretty regular check, I think, because you're at, like, you're not point blank, are you? Am I, but I think that's a 10, isn't it? I am point this. blank. I'm getting right up into his face. Okay, so then just beat a 10. Wait a minute. On a d10. Am I also allowed to act in With this handgun situation? and reflex as well. Yeah, uh, hand, so reflex and handgun, and that's a d20. Wait, aren't I allowed to act in this situation? Uh, I no. guess so. You don't have combat no, sense, so just do a straight against... reflex. Okay. I'm just going to go to the loo. I'll be back in a sec. I'm guessing you don't have dodge or, or escape. I do have dodge escape. Okay. I'm out of my way to get myself some dodge escape. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say add that, yeah, then, uh, yeah, ref, uh, reflex and dodge. Alright, All right, so, yeah. let me just, can I also put my luck points into that, or is that a little, <laughs> is, this, is this unnecessary? Pick mine. I mean, it is a pool of points, mm -hmm. so if you want to use yeah. it for this, you can. Oh, I mean, she is trying to kneecap you. Uh, was that her handgun oh. or her initiative roll, that 29? Uh, that is her handgun thing, because technically this isn't proper combat yet. You've just been kind of talking. So... Mm -hmm. So I say you have to kind of beat that 29. I'm going to put all four points of luck that I have into this roll. Yeah, I don't think anyone has very high luck. I think everyone basically puts one in there. Oh, you're pissing me! <laughs> we'll have to wait for her to come back. And who knows how long that will be. Oh. She's back. I am uh, back. 8 minutes, 16. Oh, a woman, we take forever in the bathroom. Ah! I'm that was you. a lie. <laughs> I shot him in the foot. Uh, we were actually having a discussion about this. Uh, Max asked me to check... Uh, what the modifier for aiming at a limb is, and it's a it's minus four. I'm at point blank range. <laughs> but yes. I'm attempting to dodge now. Tom, please, I'm begging you. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I was saying that I put best... all of my points of luck into this. <laughs> Can I put my fucking luck into it as well, then? No, because you have to Why? do that before the roll. No, 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 no. No, we only do no. that in our solo listen, games because okay, I'm listen, nicer. No, 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 Tom, Tom, Tom. If he's yeah. allowed to put luck into it, so am I. Ah, but here's the I think, problem. Now. I think that's only, no, 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 honey. No, 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 honey, honey. No, 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 no,
<laughs> I'd like to report to myself. Wrong police force, listen, mate. If, listen, if Max was allowed to use his luck, so am I. Yeah, but the thing is, you're that, using no, it now. Because he actually followed point. the rules. I'm following the rules! No, you're not. Ow. You're not allowed to use your luck adding. There's no such thing as retroactive luck, at, luck adding. Only right. the solo All games, because right. I'll let I'm you nice dodge it. this one, and then I'll try and shoot in the fucking head. How's that? <laughs> You really, really don't want to do. You. you do you really want to just be wasting our time with killing one of the players? Yeah. Because he makes your big character yeah. feel weak. Yes. N nice gift, Lyle. Um. Yes. Yeah, it was meant to be pluck from the original, but for some reason someone changed it to fuck. <laughs> you're not even in a room. You're just in the car park. <laughs> Exactly, we're just in a car park. Darling, if you were pissing the vinegar, you'd kill me in an aesthetic environment, please. No. Okay. You die where you deserve to die. Damn, um, you have the same style, style as what you wear. God. So they do need to be plugged in. That's oh, right. Even by the end, just down there. Cheers. Have the cows got the fuck out again? I think it's giving birth. No, it's not. If it is, can we go film that? Cause... No! Yes! It'll probably be over by the time we get there. I mean, like, it did sound like something giving birth. It's just like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> are we still filming? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> 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 over the galaxy. We controlled every planet. We destroyed massive chunks of the population. We fixed global warming, reversed overpopulation and healed the sick. We were gods we were, and we did good. We were arrogant and we only ever wanted praise and nothing. Yay. I keep feeling like I'm gonna bite my tongue at some point. <laughs> Don't. All right, so. I have been dealing with the whole, uh, like, dating app thing. I got a profile up. Look at that. It's amazing. I got it up on Thursday. So today is my third day of using it, and I have literally seen everyone in a 25-mile radius. <laughs> everyone. Cool. Now you might be like, well, how many people did you swipe right on? Below 20. I, I don't know how many people. Um, so that's fun. Uh, now I guess I just wait. <laughs> I don't think if by the end of this week I've not gotten any matches-likes, I'll move my location to Bristol so that hopefully I might get more matches. <laughs> uh, I talked to my mum a bit about this, but this is actually... So I was at the bar last night, I was doing my work, and I started messaging Ro because I only do the Skittles, so there's a lot of downtime. Because they or they only get drinks every time they're about to go in, so that's about every 20 minutes. So there's about 20 minutes where I'm not doing anything. So I was messaging Ro and I was just telling him a bit about, you know, oh yeah, I'm using the dating app, this and that and that. And one of the things he said was that, oh, you should just swipe right on everyone, which I can't do. There's a daily limit to that. Also, I was looking for people who not necessarily fit like a super specific requirement, in my opinion. It was just, uh, do they want kids? Are they actually looking for a relationship? And how far away are they? That was really the only three things I looked at. Yeah, so I was telling him about that. And then he said, well, I suggest that you just go to a bar and try to pick up women there, and I'm like, no. I didn't tell him this, but I know an action. From what I know, an actual, like, professional pickup artist said that 
pickup artistry, you know, going to like a bar and then trying to pick up a woman there, works 10 times out of 100, so 10% of the time. If I was told, oh, get, would you like to get in this car? It's brakes work 10% of the time. I'm not gonna get in that car. And yeah, so I'm not gonna go to a bar and try to pick up women because it only works 10% of the time. And I might be even wrong. I haven't fact checked this, or I haven't double checked this. Uh, H. Bomb, Bomber Guy is where I've got this statistic from and he got it from a different thing where he'll actually list the source. Most phone numbers will go nowhere. You're doing incredible if half the numbers you get result in a first date. Even when your game gets really good, you will still get rejected and have prospects that don't convert. On your 100th approach, there will be the experience of 99 previous approaches at your back, helping you succeed. This is why it is better to be the man that tries and fails than one who does not try at all. Now, on a certain level, yeah, dating is easier for you no matter how you approach it if you accept that not everyone will accept you and no set of tactics will work on 100% of women. But combined with the rest of this fucking shitty nonsense advice, it's an admission of failure. If I wrote a guide on how to succeed at Dota, and the first chapter started with get used to disappointment, following these tips you'll only actually win one in a hundred times, you'd want your fucking money back, wouldn't you? This puts something of a dent in the idea that pickup artistry actually works, doesn't it? It only looks like it works because it tells you to try it hundreds of times, so people who are utterly committed to it will probably eventually see some results. Does that actually mean it works, though? I know I'm arguing semantics here, but if you roll six dice hundreds of times, you'll eventually land all sixes. But that doesn't mean I've taught you how to be a dice roll artist, does it? And yeah, and it's like, but I was also like, I don't have the time to go to a bar to pick up women. Like, and I was like, well, if you took a break from filming, they probably don't. It's like, well, why would I take a break from filming to go and sit in a bar and then try to ask people out? So it's kind of like, no, I don't want to do that. And I say, because also, I can't hold a conversation with a person. Most of the time when I start a conversation with someone, it's because I need something or I want something. I will admit, like, generally when it comes to dating advice, I think Rowan watches these videos, but I don't tend to listen to Rowan's dating advice because I don't... It's never been very good. I've listened... A lot of other people who I know, when I've mentioned any, like, advice I've usually been given, those people, at least uh, I know with Faye and my parents, have a lot more experience with, like, dating and stuff like that. So, and they usually say not to follow his advice because it's not great. Basically, my mum's advice was join some sort of club, and I'm like, I know we have clubs at class, but they are just our other classmates, and I've already come to the conclusion that none of them I have, I have any interest in dating. So, yeah. No. I won't explain the facial hair. So, uh, today, we sorted out a bunch of stuff with our groups. So we're doing one about the cult. Uh, meeting up and it's gonna be like a comedy one. It's gonna be kind of fun. Uh, we got six actresses on our group, which is interesting. Um, and yeah, and I'm now trying to see if I can figure out what I'm gonna be doing for my own personal projects. Uh, we're gonna do this for about four weeks, and then there'll be about two, three weeks where we can just borrow our equipment to do our own stuff, but I don't know if we have to return the equipment by the end of that two, three week uh, time frame. One time she says three weeks, the other time she said two weeks, so I don't know. But it's one of those. Once I know which one, which is probably what I'm gonna ask about maybe over the weekend, if not on Tuesday, because there's a bank holiday Monday coming up uh, next week, I want to see if what the plan is and then I'll sort out what's going to happen, because in that two, three weeks, I'm going to finish everything to do with uh, Emily, the character. Um, and hopefully be able to do some reshoots with Sarah for Hunter's character and finish the initial scene that we started doing. And I'll actually do the rest of the cinematography for that. So we have a storyboard that I can follow. Yes, it's the end of the month. So, 
not a whole... Nah, that's a lie. I was about to say a whole lot. <laughs> that didn't really happen, but that's not really true. Uh, Halo has now released their new Season 2 thing, so I'm getting uh, the game updated. I'm going to try that out because I haven't played for a while, which I think means I actually missed getting the Mark V uh, or Mark IV helmet, which uh, I had wanted, which is annoying, but I'll see how I might be able to get it again. So that's great, but yeah. Um, there's... Uh, I talked to Faye at one point about filming and the stuff that we're going to be doing. And just clearing everything up. Uh, there's like one or two things where she's like, we'll talk about that a bit closer to the date. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Booking out equipment over the summer, that's going to be interesting. Seemingly, we're apparently going to be able to keep the equipment for a relatively... Like, a, a while, maybe a couple months. But then eventually we'll have to return it. Which is a little annoying. But I could hopefully at least get the first two episodes down. For Chris Conflict. And potentially finish a Mass Hunter, depending on uh, Sarah's uh, schedule. Uh, I'm going to continue trying to keep the Patreon up to date. Although that is uh, easier said than done. Especially when it comes to uploading videos where I tend to try and put some stuff on, like, my Instagram, so I'll probably have to start figuring out how to limit what I put on social media, and, um, and, yeah, flies go away. Oh, there's a wasp over there, that's fun. So, until next month, uh, I will see you all later. Bye.